Let's see. So, why do we wish to join the civil service? What is actually selecting to my mind when I was touching my engineering uh, so and mainly this will be services for the diversity of job and good career prospects and along with that opportunity to work at grassroots level and it has also an element of social importance. So that is the reason why I want to join. Good. So what qualities do you possess that should make you a good service? Uh, so being a graduate from engineering, the quality is like problem solving approach. And analytical and logical thinking, along with other qualities like honesty and integrity and objective approach in decision making, will make me a good civil servant. Are you working, Mr. Kumar? No, sir. No. Actually, you were working with software yes. engineers, right? Yes. Is this your first attempt? Uh, yes, sir. First attempt? Yes, sir. Good. You. You were doing a good job. Yes, sir. After 2016. Yes, sir. Why did you just leave it? Uh, sir, it was planned. Actually, I want to. Uh, I want to be a part of civil services because uh, I got motivated from one of my school seniors who qualified in the UPSC and he got IAS. But because of financial situation, I have to take up the job and I have to continue for so long. So it was planned that I have to. Ultimate goal was uh, to go for the civil service. So you took a bold decision of giving up the job and preparing for this. Yes. And this is the first attempt. Yes. And you qualified in the first attempt yes. itself. Yes. Very good. Very well done. Okay. Here comes Sultan district. Yes, sir. Which is always in the news for political reasons. Yes, sir. Why is it so? Uh, sir, uh, because Sultan represents the constituency of Rahul Gandhi as well as uh, Varun Gandhi, uh, who is MP from uh, there. So, and Varun Gandhi has also done a research regarding Manrega and it has, found, uh, it has revealed some findings what Manrega has contributed to the society as a whole. Can you tell me what are the findings and what is your assessment of Manrega? Uh, sir, uh, finding uh, with respect to Manrega, I would like to divide into three aspects. Uh, the social impact of Manrega and the economic impact of Manrega and uh, what are the governance impact of Manrega. As far as social impact is concerned, it has empowered the women and also it has uh, provided, uh, uh, it has uh, reduced the uh, disguised employment uh, in the area of agriculture. Uh, secondly, in the term of economic empowerment, it has uh, reduced uh, uh, the shock, uh, economic shock to the people and provide first wages to the, some of the people. Uh, as far as governance impact is concerned, yes, it has boosted the Gram Panchayat. Uh, power and it has brought assertive nature of the people because they can demand their right and it was a demand based approach. So it has uh, in fact uh, tried to empower the grassroots democracy by demanding for their job and all those things. Good. So these are the three very strong points. Are there any weak points also? Yes sir. Uh, there are uh, cases of boost beneficiaries with respect to Manrega, a lot of payment is there and deferred payment is there. So these are the weakness of the Mandrega where uh, sometimes people demand for their jobs, but uh, their demand is not being fulfilled within 15 days, which is mandated under the Mandrega Act. But anything regarding the output? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as output, output is concerned, uh, the quality of the assets created is also uh, uh, not very good as, as per the uh, social, uh, social audit findings also. So quality of asset uh, being made under Mandrega is also Sometimes, I do not I part with the standards. Since you are so thorough in Narega, you know about two, three years ago it was discussed that Narega is not giving too much of emphasis on conversions, which is of course linked to the output. That's why. Yes, sir. So, what, what exactly did they mean by that? Sir, I am not very much aware of this uh, conversion, but. Yeah. You know, basically what you are saying is that in villages you are constructing schools, you are yes, constructing sir. hospitals, you are constructing roads, ponds, yes, but you don't link it with Narega. If you link all of them, yes, then thank you for the effect that are Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it will support agriculture also because in the in uh, like ponds can be used for the water harvesting system and it can, the water can be used during the time of drought and all, so on. So it will support the agriculture infrastructure in the village. 
you know, we have been reading a lot about uh, the Kumbh Mela arrangements in yes, Alabama. Yes, sir. You also must have read something about yes, it. Yes, So, what is your take on that? Uh, sir, uh, in my humble opinion, this time Kumbh Mela was organized very well. And in fact, uh, my family members have also visited there. The, they have taken various things into account, like cleanliness was one of the most important things, managing the things in a very proper manner, like devising the exit gate and entry gate, and proper management of the waste was there. And they have so do you think all these practices can be replicated in other places? Yes, sir, definitely, because these... What are the practices that you can think you can replicate in this Sultanpur town? Uh, like effective waste management uh, with respect to Kumela uh, that has been done. Second thing implied uh, technology to disseminate the information in the best possible manner so that people don't face any kind of uh, problem with respect to the arrangements. The third is that uh, the proper administration management with respect to the crowd management and all those things. Uh, traffic management was very uh, good at that place. So that could be replicated in the Sultan. So all these things is related to facilitation, traffic, yes. crowd management, all these things can be replicated. Yes. Even though the Sultan municipality doesn't have so many people to work and so much money to work, even then you think it can be replicable? Yes, sir. Fine crunch is, uh, is an issue, but uh, if the idea is... Fine crunch for functionaries. Uh, functionaries is also a, a significant problem. But if we have a proper plan, then we can implement in the phased wise manner. We can do it in a phase. Yes, sir. There is a priority. Like sanitation will be the first priority because it has a multiplier effect. You know, reliability in Sultanpur has been the Prime Minister's question yes. for a long, long, long time. Yes. But uh, looking at the development, yes, sir. One that they, do, they don't look like Prime Minister's Excellencies. Why do you think that happened? What is the reason? Uh, sir, there are few reasons behind that. The first thing is that the fractured mandate uh, that uh, in these, uh, in fact, you know, all UP has, like uh, people basically focus on primordial realities like caste, class, and religion. The second is that lack of political vision, because often it has represented the Prime Minister constituencies. So regional issues get sidelined and the national issues get priority. Uh, so this is also what is So your your member of parliament actually behaves more like the prime minister yes. than like a member of parliament. Yes. yes. Neglected, neglected. Yes. Um, so a third issue is that uh, because of poverty and illiteracy, people are not very much assertive uh, with respect to their demands of development, like welfare approach should be brought in, and they are not looking in that way. They are they are more attached with the uh, that particular constituency with respect to their class and caste. So that is the reason. You are from UP. Yes. There is a lot of menace of the stray cattle. Yes. And they say that uh, a lot of cattle are also dying because they are not being looked after in the Goshalas. Yes. I just read that 200 cattle died in Noida and in Rajasthan, 5 cattle die every day. So, what can be done to take care of this problem? Can you think of any suggestions? Uh, in fact, in the recent, uh, recent budget by the UP government, uh, 1600 crore has been set aside for the cattle welfare and the constructing the centers for the cows. Uh, so this is one thing. Uh, second thing is that uh, can be done that uh, the issues with, uh, with, uh, with respect to the state cattle, like uh, centers can be built in the Gram Panchayat. So no, shelters are being built in the Gram Panchayat, but what about the fodder? There's no money for the fodder. So yes. just building a shelter is not enough? Yes ma'am, in fact uh, that's uh, why the UP government has allocated 1600 crore so that the fodder management uh, can be done. And uh, it can be uh, catalyzed also like uh, cow products like we can catalyze in the area of uh, organic manure and all those things. So in fact... What are the all those things other than manure? Uh, like organic manure can be used uh, uh, with respect uh, to the chemical uh, fertilizers and we can promote organic farming. So that is going to benefit in the long run. Uh, along with uh, like urine of the cow is important uh, with respect to uh, it can be a, it can act as a pesticide also. So these things can be. Okay. Now the loan waivers given to farmers. Do you think that was a good scheme? 
All states have been giving loan waivers in the last few years. What are your views on it? Uh, in, my, in my humble opinion, I think uh, loan waiver is not good for farmers in the long run because uh, in the long run it uh, requires uh, structural reforms in the agriculture, which is uh, going to benefit the farmers. But does a farmer, a poor farmer, really take a loan from an institution? Yes, and there's a second uh, point uh, where only 26% credit is being uh, given to the farmer uh, from the farmer sector. And the poor and marginalized farmer, they are taking loans from the money lender. Exactly. And they are not uh, getting benefited of the, out of that. In fact, the large farmer are getting benefit and uh, they are uh, using that for other purposes. Diversification now, uh, diversion of the loan taken by the so there was this uh, green revolution and now we are talking of an ever green revolution. Can you tell me something about this second green revolution? As far as ever green revolution is concerned, uh, we are in first uh, green revolution, we focused on the uh, wheat and paddy. Uh, Whereas in ever green revolution, we are focusing on multiple crops and uh, we are, are the crops that we are targeting? We are uh, targeting like uh, pulses, pulses, oil seeds, yes, pulses, oil seeds, sugar canes also. Uh, so, uh, and in fact, uh, the how can you grow sugar cane in the northeast? Pulses and oil seeds and yes. diversifying into horticulture. Yes. So, what else? Which are the areas? Uh, in Evergreen Revolution, we are talking about the northeast and the eastern part of the uh, India. Uh, which uh, does not benefit from the first green revolution. There's also a blue revolution which is being talked about. Can you tell me something about it? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, blue revolution uh, talks about uh, production of fisheries uh, in the inland waterway, in, in the inland as well as the oceans in the oceans also. So to increase the fish production, uh, to, uh, so that it can benefit the. Uh, it can benefit the farmers as well as the fishermen also. Thank you. You have worked in the software industry for about three years, right? Yes. Sir. What is the contribution of software sector to India? What are its main contributions? Uh, the main contribution of the software in the area of services sector, that's the software services that we are providing. To, to the Western countries like United States, UK, and uh, to that contribution, I don't know. Uh, so, major source of online is learning, yes, sir. right? Software exports, yes, sir. but at the same time, there are certain problems, especially with this sector. Yes, sir. What, what are these problems? Uh, so, the problems related to uh, we are only focusing in the area of software uh, services, pro uh, uh, providing services. Second is because of automation. There are lots of jobs uh, that is being happening. The third is uh, there is little being done on the software product side, which is uh, the contribution of which is uh, very least as compared to lots of lots of uncertainties. Also. Yes, uncertainties with respect to the actual B visa. And, uh, How much of foreign exchange we we are getting at present? Any idea? FDI. Yes. Okay. Uh, while we are a pioneer in the software sector. Hardware, I think India is hardly. Yes. So, why the picture is so described in the hardware sector? Yes, sir, there are a few reasons behind that. Uh, the first most important reason is that uh, early opening of the software sector before liberalization so that it can prepare for the, it, it, it can prepare for the growing uh, uh, competition in the market. Second, uh, with respect to software, uh, it does not require a huge investment. Well, I with respect to hardware, it requires a huge investment. Okay, I think that's a satisfactory explanation. Okay. I'll come to another sector, banking sector. Yes. What are the problems faced by the banks today? Particularly the public sector banks. Uh, so the major problem faced by the public sector banks is respect to non-profiting assets. And the second... Uh, non-profiting assets. Yes, sir. Non-profiting assets. The second is that... Uh, because of that, they are not able to give the credits, so that it also affects the economy. What is the extent of their NPA at present? You have some data? Okay, why NPA has gone up to such a large level? It's about 
11 to 12 percent. Right. Yes. So, why it has reached that level? Any explanation? And which are the sectors where NPA is yes. mostly common? The sectors like large infrastructure product, uh, projects <coughs> like roadways and uh, okay. uh, so, uh, and other projects with respect to huge infrastructure in, uh, investing like bridges. Uh, the reason why this uh, NPA has mounted up because of Regulation issues with respect to the RBI and uh, the loan has been given without any collateral uh, support. Due diligence was not followed? Yes, sir. Due diligence was not followed. Certain steps have been taken by the government and by RBI to address this problem. Yes. Sir. Just briefly mention what are these steps? Um, in count corrective uh, action has uh, been taken by the RBI. And insolvency and bankruptcy code has been brought up uh, by the government of India so that uh, the early resolution of these loans can be done. Okay, the last question. Repo rate. What is meant by repo rate? Uh, a repo rate is the rate at which uh, the RBI lets, it, uh, lets to the bank based on the government security. Recently, repo rate was not done. Yes. What was the logic behind? So the logic behind is. Uh, Brought in down, uh, repo rate was inflation was under control, and uh, we need to plug in the credit uh, load that is not happening. So, that was the reason uh, repo rate was brought. Priority sector lending, what is the meaning of that? And what are these priority sectors? So the priority sector lending means that uh, banks, while giving credit to the sector, they need to uh, set aside some part of the credit. Uh, How much? What percentage? Uh, uh, 42%. Uh, and private sector lending areas like agriculture, educational loan, and small and small and medium sector enterprises. Okay. Thank you. Name some strengths of UP. That you feel it has some strong points. So, uh, strength of UP with respect to huge. Uh, Dividend, demographic dividend that it has. That's nothing. The second is that it has the cultural. The first one is wrong. It's common to everything and it is not necessarily a dividend. It's turning into a burden, more of a burden. Yes, sir. We need to capitalize on that. That we do. It is all wishful thinking. You say where it is actually strong. The second uh, is that uh, it has huge cult uh, cultural and monumental heritage. So, yeah, it can be capitalized in the area of tourism. All right. Tourism potential is yes. huge. Mm -hmm. What else? Along with that, uh, it has also uh, has a pot a potential with respect to the small and medium uh, sector enterprises. Where, uh, in fact, uh, the St. Louis government has launched one district. You are talking about potential only, you are not talking about tourism. It has no achievements to its credit. Yes, sir, it has. Then why don't you mention those? In fact, uh, UP is the second largest producer of uh, leather uh, in the India. Then you say those. Yes, Who sir. is number one? Uh, number one is uh, Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Yes, sir. And UP is also uh, second largest production of the sugar cane in the country, which is contributed to. Good use. Now you're right. How are you? It's number one. Yes, sir. It is in. Uh, it is time, it is uh, time to... Uh, it is already number one. Okay. Sugar products. Yes, sir. After uh, Maharashtra was... Yeah, Maharashtra is far behind now. Okay. What else? Uh, and other, other thing is that... It, uh, it's number one in milk production. Yes, sir. Milk production is... Uh, it has third largest GDP in, in among yes, the sir. states. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Which yes, are the number two, well, two ahead of it. The exact reason I don't know, but Maharashtra is uh, Maharashtra and yes, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Yes. All right. Then now name some weaknesses which you would be ashamed of. Uh, so the weaknesses uh, with respect to the social sector indicators that it is uh, like uh, we are where, does it, where does it stand among states in human development? Sir, it is uh, thirty-fifth rank, yeah. out of thirty-six. So it's really yes, this month. It's yes, this sir. Month. 0.5 meters. This is one weakness. What yes. else? Uh, second weakness with respect to the like we are not able to uh, 
capitalize on the demographic dividend that uh, we, uh, we have been, we are having. And other with respect to the Second weakness is it's low economic growth. Yes, uh, low economic growth. Very low economic growth. It is just 6.4 percent. Yes. Despite all the all the fertile lands it has yes, brought in. In fact, yes. Low economic growth. These are the two. Yes. Then third is it is rife with communal problems. Yes, sir. No, uh, communal issues, uh, caste issues. So very much these are some of the bad things. Yes. All right. Computer science yes. is just. What is IoT? Yes, sir. IoT stands for the Internet of Things. It, it is a network of, network of connected devices mm -hmm. like home appliances, mobile phone, and cars. Uh, what, in what medium connects them? Uh, sir, Internet basically is used to connect. In fact, Internet can be also the Internet is the uh, yes. Internet is the medium connecting yes. them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, what are its practical uses? There is one other important component of IoT. Just integrity is not. Without sensors, what Yes, sir, sensors and actuators is the basic component when they try to communicate with the machines as well as the command provided by the human. What are its practical applications? Uh, so, as far as practical application is concerned, uh, it can be used uh, in multiple areas, like uh, it can be used to control the home environment and it can be used uh, to ease the life of the people like uh, automatic sensors can be used in the home as well as mobile. Well, what are much bigger uses than home comforts? Uh, so much bigger uses? Uh, industry. Yes, sir, industry. industry is, is, is automation. Yes, yes. yes. Artificial intelligence. Yes, sir. Now, what are the practical uses of this? Artificial intelligence. Sir, as far as practical uses is concerned, it can be used in the machine learning process, it can be used in the natural language processing, and it can be used in the robotics. But that is in the process. Practical uses. If you have a machine, you can use it. What is the practical uses? Uh, sir, practical uses, uh, in fact, it can be used in the automatic cars. Like Self travel as cars can be used. Uh, yes. can be used. Yes. It can be used in, in the field of medicine. medicine health. Now it is being tried in America yes. that manual cumbersome jobs, yes, the, the machines are taking over yes, those sir. jobs. With the help of, yes, with with the help of artificial intelligence. Yes, like making appointments. Yes, better yes. use of time. Better use of time. What is robotics? Uh, uh, robotics is basically use of machines uh, with the help of algorithm which can uh, perform those jobs, those jobs which are considered uh, menial and which are considered difficult for the human being. Repetitive job. Yes, repetitive. Yes. Which eliminates human labor, yes. right? Yes. Now, what is drone? So, drone is a device uh, which uh, Unmanned aerial vehicle. Yes, unmanned aerial vehicle aerial, device. Correct? Yes. What are its practical uses? Uh, so it has practical uses in many areas, like it can be used in the defense, it can be used in the agriculture. It can be used for transporting organs, yes, not yes, India is trying it. Transport yeah. them, yes. Has India legalized it? Uh, no. Yes, sir. Yeah. India has legalized it uh, and it has come up with some rules. What are the areas where unmanned aerial vehicle cannot be? Yes, correct. It is legalized yes. December 2018. Yes. Human policy was initiated. Yes. Yes. Now, public administration is your subject. Yes. Good governance concept yes. as initiated by the World Bank. Yes. Are you aware of it? Yes. Eight ingredients. There are eight ingredients in it. Are you aware of them? Yes. Catalytic government and consumer oriented government, responsive, transparent, rule uh, rule of law should be there. So these are the ingredients. And, uh, transparency. All right. Rule of law. Who, who, who gave this concept of rule of law? Sir, uh, Dice gave this uh, concept of rule of law. Who gave the concept of separation of powers? Sir, I'm not. Montes 
Oh yes, yes. Does it, does it exist in India? Yes, sir. there is a separation of power in India, but there is not a watertight separation of water. water. Very good. Name two unitary features of our polity. Uh, sir, unity feature with, uh, like we have single citizenship, we have uh, uh, integrated judiciary. Name important ones. Emergency powers. Yes. Sir. Give over a second. In the three lists, in the three lists, yes, union gets a much bigger lion's share. Yes, and it's important. These are the two most important. Now we close the interview. I'm giving you a feedback. By and large, you have. I'm summing up. By and large, you have handled the interview nicely. And you have been able to handle most subjects nicely. We feel this is how your interview would run, actual interview, right? So you are from UP, so on UP you must prepare well. Yes. It's his strong points, his weak points. What is being done to uh, to 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 eradicate uh, regional disparities, etc., etc. Yeah. Number two is public administration. आपसे सवाल हमने पूछे पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट्स ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट देख लीजिए जैसे बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर कॉन्सेप्ट है और ड्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉ है क्रिमिनल्स इन पॉलिटिक्स सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने क्या किया है इनको करने के हटाने के लिए दिल्ली कॉमर्स केस है फिर रिजर्वेशन का इशू है रिजर्वेशन का इंदिरा सानी जजमेंट एक्सेट्रा है ना देन प्राइवेसी इशू एंड सोशल जस्टिस के ऊपर जो जजमेंट्स हैं लाइक ट्रिपल तलाक थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन फोर नाइन्टी सेवन आपको बात आ रही है ये सब पढ़ लेना है अच्छा देन वी कम टू कंप्यूटर साइंस आई वास टू अस ए फ्यू क्वेश्चंस थिंक ऑफ ऑल द ऑल क्वेश्चंस लाइक फाइव जी क्या है फाइव जी की बहुत बड़ी चल रहा है एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रिंसिपल्स हो गए हैं तो आपको बतानी है लास्टली करंट अफेयर्स करंट अफेयर्स में एक तो जे एन के का देख लीजिए ट्रबल चल रहा है दूसरा नॉर्थ ईस्ट में है प्रोटेस्ट थर्ड इम्पॉर्टेंट इशूज बिफोर सुप्रीम कोर्ट आपका यूपी का है उसमें अयोध्या का भी है और वो ग्यारह सौ एनकाउंटर का भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ इट्स वेरी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सियल इशू आपसे पूछे उसमें कहा कि आपका क्या व्यू रहेगा आपके ये दिस इस दिस इस नॉट ए करेक्ट प्रैक्टिस नो एनकाउंटर 1100 एनकाउंटर्स हो गई जो मेड इट ए स्टैंडर्ड प्रैक्टिस यू हैव मेड इट ए रूटीन इट कैन बी यूज्ड प्रोवाइडेड देयर इस ए रियल थर्ड टू योर बट इट कैन बी ए रूटीन प्रैक्टिस इट which you will be the government is trying to do, right? Let's see. Now, let me see how to do this. Here, please. Good luck. Yes, good luck. All the best. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon to never miss an update.